Hey, Billy. Hi, Paul. Hey, Jason. Hey, Chris S. Triple B. Hey, Martin K. Hey, Queer T. Rim, Gerard, Stevie, Nicole, Carolyn. Oh, rats. All right, so I'm calling. Let me know if you guys can hear me all right. Hello, hello. Check one, two. Let's make sure the computer motor is not too loud. Maybe I'll move the, I have a mic right here. It's kind of... It's a little in the way, but let me make sure that you guys can hear me all right. And also, look what I got in the mail. I know it's backwards, I think, but it's the South Camer Island t-shirt. And in the sand, if you look very closely, it says IRL Rosie was here They're in the sand. I designed them myself. I wanted them to look like the 80s, early 90s you know, souvenir t-shirts that are like really cheesy. Carolyn, did you get yours today too? I got mine yesterday. I also got, um, there's a link. I pinned it. If you click on my link tree, it will bring you to like a bunch of things and you'll see like the merch button. And that's where you can get it. And they have a bunch of different colors, like hot pink and blue. And I got a crew neck that's black. Let me show you actually for when it's cold, but you still want to go to South Camer Island. For those of you who don't know what that is, it's kind of like an inside joke with all of my subscribers that have been following me for a long time because I prank call the fake airline scammers and I always try to book a trip to South Camera Island and they're like typing it in and I waste their time and I always say, it's tropical, it's near the Bahamas. I'm just like making up stuff. But here's the black one, which I think looks really cool with the bright colors. Yeah, I designed it. It took me, it looks very simple. Thank you, Kyle. Thank you for the super chat. It looks very simple, but it took me a really long time to design this just because I'm so picky and I wanted something very specific. And it was hard to find all the different colors that I wanted and choose that. So anyways, there's that right here. And there's this. They have a white one too. This is kind of like the off-white gray, which I kind of it makes it look a little more like vintage retro-ish I guess but yeah it's real fun so uh it took about maybe five to seven days to receive and there's beach towels slides all different kinds of south camera swag so um hey off to my mods what up I'm having um a seltzer and then also a matcha thank you Nathan for the super chat appreciate you so very much it says celebrate the, how do I do that? Do I push this? Is that new? Clicking that. Does it do anything? Hold on. Oh. Oh, well, I don't know. Well, it says to celebrate it. So yay. Thank you. Oh, Chris, you got one too. Everyone who did get a shirt, let me know what color you got. And then send me, uh, send me pictures of it on my Instagram, IRL Rosie, because I want to see that. Also, look at my nails. I did clouds with purple sky just wanted to show you that you got black cool yeah the black looks i'm glad i got the crew neck in black because i was just so curious yeah they turned out really cool i just put it on today i might roll up the sleeves sort of want to get a hot pink one i just can't stop <laughs> thank you we i love them tappy 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 thank you brian yeah so if anyone wants it there's a link up there and then it's right below the link for Aura, who sponsors my channel and sponsors me. So if anyone is interested in internet safety, Carolyn, you reached out and told me it made a big difference to you as well. You can use my code IRLROSIE. They've got like a VPN, a password manager, identity, theft protection, credit monitoring, all that stuff. And um, they also have a million dollar insurance coverage for any losses due to identity theft and you can sign up as yourself as a couple as a family all kinds of things and uh, i think it starts as low as seven bucks a month and my link that's also my link tree will get you um, a free two-week trial there's no catch whatsoever 
it's free to sign up. And then if you do sign up, I believe they have a 60 day money back guarantee. No, no catch, no nothing. Um, it's just a really great company that I work with. So that link is in my link tree as well. And they often sponsor my videos. So just wanted to mention that Aura is great. And Robert Downey Jr. now works as like, it's one of his sponsors too. So it's like, if Iron Man is doing it, I'll do it too. Thank you, David. Thank you so much. Yay. I wish I could like, I'll lean it down so people can see the shirt more. Anyway, I'm trying to call these, uh, publishers clearinghouse scammers and they're it's like switches back and forth between a bank of america scam and uh the publisher's clearinghouse and they're not answering but brian harris five years your fan you're my fave oh thank you so much appreciate you very much um yeah i've been doing content on youtube i think since 2018 or 19 something like that which is yeah about almost five years. Hello from Poland. Hello to you, Poland. Hey, Elle. I'm glad you're here. Okay, so kiss, kiss, kiss. I'm going to keep trying to call these weirdos who are pretending to be Publishers Clearinghouse, which is bonkers. Are you going to be at the People's Call Center this year? Jimmy, yes, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be there. Going to be there, going to be there. And I'm going to consolidate my trip and go see my mom because she lives nearby there as well within a few hours. So, yeah, it'll be a good, good summer. Oh, show. Last year I had to miss it because I was filming. I had a, a book of role in a small movie. So, I feel like I'm always I'm just gonna push anything. Can you guys hear okay? Let me know if you can see the motor gets too bad. They're just busy. Even the message, keep watching your mail. Even the automated thing just sounds so stupid. Can you do a bikini haul? I don't know. Buy me a bunch of bikinis. Thanks, Nicole. <laughs> This kind of matches my outfit. <sighs> Javier, just send a super chat and get it over with. <laughs> no, leave me alone, weirdo. All right, let's see if I can find any other numbers to call. Um, oh, here's like a, this one's got like a fake geek squad. Again, keep letting me know about the stream quality in the chat. If you can't hear me or if the motor is too loud from my computer going, then just let me know in the comments and I will do my best to fix it. Hi, Anna. Um, I'm going to say, because she can be, let her be. Who's Jenny Tran? <laughs> you so the sound is a bit muffled. Okay, good to know. I'll put this here for now. And maybe I'll just use my actual phone, turn on the VPN and all those things and block my number. Maybe I'll do that because then we can hear better from the microphone. Far from the computer, Dora. Joe Dirt says, yo, your voice is amazing. Thank you. Can you do the computer voice from War Games? I don't know what that sounds like, but I'll look it up. The volume is distorting noise. John say, can you do the Ariana Grande voice? Yeah. Sure. I did sign up for Aura. As Rosie said, now I'm protected against identity theft, credit card fraud, fraudulent bank charges, very inexpensive for great protection. Yay, Carolyn! That is awesome. I'm glad. It worked out. I'm glad you are protected. It was crazy. You sent me, Carolyn sent me the screenshot of all the things that it flagged of past data breaches and all sorts of stuff. And there was a lot. 
It was a big old receipt. Crazy. Um, so glad that you're protected now. Let's see. Let's see. There are a lot of Publishers Clearinghouse scammers today. Hopefully the answer, if not, we're just hanging out on a Friday. Enjoying the it said, do Alexa. I don't know if it's Didi or Dead D or. The person. It's currently unavailable. <laughs> Come on. I want my winnings from Publishers Screening House. Gosh, there are a lot. I'm going to call all these numbers. Let's see. Do -do -do. Everyone in the chat, become friends with each other. Where's everyone from? What are you doing today? When did you get off work? Hi, Mina. Love from Finland. Irma. Lower Michigan. Just clearing house. I already forget. Yes. Okay. Please answer. We want to have fun. Answer, answer. I was just in Seattle, West Seattle to be. Okay, maybe the answer. I'm gonna use my phone to call, but next time. Welcome to the house of dreams. We Hello, I'm trying to get my winnings, so give me a call back here at 4541. Thank you very much. All right, left them a voicemail. And now we wait for our millions and millions and millions of dollars of fake money. Wouldn't that be amazing? Has anyone in the chat actually ever won? anything before, like a sweepstakes or any kind of prize. The most I've won was like a scratch off card for maybe 20 bucks. Nothing that I super remember at all. Daryl, super chat me or shut your mouth because no, I don't show my feet for free. So very funny. Scratch off 5k. Ella said, literally never won anything. Sweet face, I wish. Gambling. Oh, yeah. I, I've i went on, like, slot machines before in Vegas, the Britney Spears slot machine. But then I always end up losing it again because I get excited and I want to bet more. And I'm just not. My mom did win $500 on the Willy Wonka slot at the Golden Nugget. Honestly, in the older casinos in Fremont area, like Old Vegas, I feel like you win more and it's cheaper to play. So they have, instead of on the strip where it's like $25 craps, you can play like $10 craps. I love Vegas. I'm one of those people. I won a modern hat. I won a modern hat once. Oh yeah, you did. I'd like to win a date with you. Ha ha, LOL. Good luck with that. Five million lottery winner, Mark Church. Let's be friends. Cordless said, do you miss me? I don't know who you are, but maybe. It's a real big Maybe. All right, let's try this other publisher's clearing house number. Let's see, let's see. Let's mess with them. Let's mess with them. Irma. Everyone, get yourself Gamer Island shirt. Cheaper squirrel. Are you napping? Where's the baby? Where's the baby? Hello, chin bug. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for keep getting the same phony message. Why did I say that like Siri? I was like, I keep getting the same phony message. Hmm. Also, members, people who are subscribed to my YouTube membership, 
I started a members only discord. There's only one tier for memberships. I don't do like the whatever because it's too stressful to distribute different perks. So everything is just $4.99 to be a member of the channel. You can join the private discord. I do uh, discounts on merch. I think members get 20% off of, so if you want one of these or a South Camera Island towel or slides or whatever, 20% off for members. And uh, what happened at the end in your name? Who, me? Oh, Nicole. Mm, yeah. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, let's try to refresh this and see if we can get in touch with the fake, 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 fake people stealing money from good people. All right, let's see. Well, hi, all gang. Better start. She's here, so no one her phone. Hmm. It sounds pretty legit. I know it's not, but it's pretty scary how legit it sounds. It looks funny. You're not that the animal agent. I'm not gonna listen to them. Where is Jennifer? Well, I'm driving to Chicago. Amazing. 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 Okay, well, it's just not an answer because we want to have fun today. What are these comments here? What is this? What is this? Why can't I see what this is? So good. Oh, oh what's that? Hmm. Okay. We'll try this one. If not, I'm still having fun hanging out with you guys. All right. Elmo yet? <laughs> That's my terrible Elmo impression. Answer. Give me my millions and trillions. Yeah. Hi, Kelly. Yes, we're playing a show actually at Hotel Ziggy on Sunday. The band I'm in is called Moderns. And I believe it's a show. It's Hello, my name is Irma, and I'm calling to receive my winnings, and my phone number is... And please call me back to uh, receive my prize. Thank you very much. <laughs> also, it's my mom's birthday today. Happy birthday, Mom. If you're watching, probably not, because... She can't really figure out the YouTubes. She can't really figure out the YouTubes. But mom, if you happen to see this in some crazy way, happy birthday to you. Can you do a prank using a Bart Simpson voice? I've done it in the past. It takes a bit of warming up to do, so I don't. it's not really my go-to, but I have. You could also type in IRL Rosie and then Bart, because I think, or Simpsons, and a few of them in the past should show up. Gosh, nobody's answering. Nobody's answering. What are these? I'm kind of tired today, y'all. I had weird, stressful dreams last night. Anyone else? I feel like I have not been sleeping the best. But, you know, that's what naps are for. I love a good nap. I live to love to nap. I have no idea who I'm calling now. I'm just... Maybe I'll check my coffee. <laughs> sure. How come no one's calling me back with my prize money? <laughs> I have so many voicemails. Your color is very important to us. 
I feel bad for whoever did that voicemail because I make fun of their voice every time. Their call is a very important one. Please wait for the next available agent. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Well, where is, I want to check my junk folder. It's often time. There's a lot of skateboards in there. No. This music is putting me to sleep. Order confirmation, what's this? It's not showing me everything. I get a lot of, um, you know those like fake X-rated emails? I can't believe people still even attempt those. It, but that reminds me of when the internet first came out and like AOL. <gasps> Thank you so much, Bernie66 Mac. Cute little super sticker. Very, very cute. What's the purple thing in your purse? This is just this. I don't think anything... Purple is in here. Well, I've got eye drops. These are amazing. They're called Lumify. And they make your eyes feel amazing. Purple in my purse. I've got, this is pink. So, I don't know what to tell you. Here's a lip gloss that's purplish. I don't know. <gasps> Thank you, Greg, Didi, or Daddy. Greg Daddy. I'm just going to call you Greg Daddy. Thank you for the super chat. Um, other than that, purple thing in my purse. I've got a bag of Doritos. Should we eat some? Not G. Thank you so much. John, my favorite place to visit so far is Tokyo. I had a great time. I went there in February. It was awesome. Okay, I'm going to keep checking my spam folder. So, hold on. Hmm. Hmm. No, no phone number. A lot of fake prizes in here to get you to click. Fake Amazon gift cards, Walmart gift cards. What I really need is the like antivirus kind of crap. Why add another account? It logged me out of all these? No. Let's do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Back in. Mm, cool Ranch Doritos are the gosh darn best. Mm. You know when you log into Google, it just, it's way too paranoid. Of like, who is this? What are you doing? Come on. I'm trying to log into my other email. Why is it doing this to me? <laughs> Everything has to be so difficult for no reason. Just want to find fresh scammer numbers. That's all I want. No, I don't want to do a Chrome profile. Like, can't we just log into stuff? God. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, some are eating Doritos and pranking scammers. Yeah. Okay, let me find the spam folder. Hold on, I'm keeping the chat open so I can say hi. Oh, potato chips. Hey, Lexi. Hey, Elle. Say hello again to my mom. You going to share? Here you go. Open up. Mmm, that is a problem. I can't stop eating these either, Robert. Okay. Let me see. I just need one of those fake receipts. Not me begging to be scammed. Yeah, Walmart. Free 14 Pro iPhone for T-Mobile. So much junk mail. Congratulations to you. This message seems dangerous. It says, oh, I won $18 million. Let's see. Medicare, please. Not yet. Car insurance. Fake car insurance. There's so my junk mail is just popping off but I need a phone number come on gosh these pervy fake emails are so weird who falls for this stuff really weird some weird stuff some weird stuff in here 
Well, I'm not really finding anything with phone numbers. So back to the drawing board up here. I'll keep saying hi to y'all. Thank you, Shauna. That's cute. That's a cute little super sticker. Mm. You too, Nadia. She really does this live as the future. Just wish others saw that. I know. I need to go live way more often. Sometimes I just don't feel my best. So it's hard for me to pop on here and have the mental energy to do it. But once I, every time I do, it's kind of like going to the gym. Every time I do it, I'm like, this feels so great. Why don't I do this all the time? This is so fun. I should do this every day. And so here we are. We're living that truth. Okay, let me see if we can call. Hmm. <laughs> PayPal refund. What I really need is this fake Bank of America to answer. Gosh, we haven't gotten a single bite. What are you waiting? Just a lot of voicemails. Okay, well, let me answer. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. I just want to mess with one person. Huh? Yes, Carissa. Lexi, you were? Aw. Yeah, Junie. Junie, Junie, Junie. I bet she's sleeping in the house. Okay. Junebug. Junebug, Junebug, Junebug. Squirrel! Oh my god, 102 voicemails on my junk number. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Sass so said, You bad AF, G. Thank you so much. Except for Java Harry, I have a cat named Juniper. I'm trying to get her to get over here and be a cute little baby. And hang out with us like a good, good squirrel. Gosh, none of these have a phone number. Come on, scam me. Oh, they just want me to click on links. I need the fake McAfee, fake Norton BS. Wow, these emails are wild. There's a fake PayPal payment of a thousand dollars. Everyone, check your junk mail. It's wild. Don't click on anything though. Mmm, nada. Pretty wild. No one cares. No one cares to scam me, I guess. If only these were real, the eighteen million dollars. My gosh, I would love eighteen million dollars. I'll even take just like one. <laughs> the other day I was thinking of every one of my subscribers. I almost said survivors. <laughs> Freudian slip. Every one of my subscribers just sent me a dollar. I could be a millionaire. That's just, how is that going to happen? Like, that's just not going to happen. Oh my gosh, George, Tabak, that's scary. Minas, thank you so much. That's very nice. Robert said you should smile more. $18 million dollars would make me smile more. Huh. What time is it in England? I don't know. I think it's eight hours ahead of me in LA. Hey, Robert. Werner, I'm glad you're here. Hey, Mr. Coop. We're not getting too many bites today. But I am having fun just hanging out and catching up. And showing you my South Camera Island shirt. I hope you all buy some. If you do, please send me photos of you wearing it. Like, tag me in your stories so that I can add it to my Instagram highlights. Okay, let's see. Sorry, today's kind of like no dice with like no bites, no dice. But maybe we can try this one again. But I don't know. Nobody wants to answer. Nobody wants to scam me. 
who would have thought that I would just be in a place where I'm begging to be scammed, <laughs> scammed. Life is crazy. I doubt the answer. Thank you, Greg. Thank you. I'm not going to answer. It's not in the cards. Ooh, what's this? Let's see. This looks new, too. Uh, is this one new? Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> oh, weird. Two hours, whatever. I'm trying to see the... Sorry, guys. I'm trying to scroll through and get the most updated number here. Let's see. This looks like another one. Thank you for your patience, everybody. This is not the most fun live we've ever had, but we'll get there. I know, they probably do. Yeah, also on the live stream. It'll also be recorded on YouTube, but we all make fun of you, scammer. You're all in literally a formula. It's a very important love. Is it scammer? Is it so important to you? Come on! Come on, come on, come on! Nobody's answering. Uh -huh. Sure. Give you an unauthorized transaction. Oh, bad part of it. Yeah. Mmm. I could finish this so bad. There. There's one that's this much in there, but if I do finish it, then I didn't snap in here. I have been this like a week ago. What about art? Are they live streaming too? How many languages do you speak? Just English and a little bit of French. I can mostly just read French and understand it if other people type it out. But, mmm, sour cream for your Doritos. Why is somebody answering? Yes, Mmm. Uh, boring. Boring. Hmm. I don't really, I usually don't have a ton of luck on Fridays for some reason. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know, guys. Brian, thank you so much. Brian Harris is so generous. <laughs> I do it as many. How much pot do you smoke a day? Says Space Speed Bub. Zilch, Mr. That makes me feel paranoid and not good. Not a fan, although no judges to the people that do enjoy it. Thank you, Bianca, for the little clowns. I did them myself. I love doing my nails. There are so many scammers in the paid ads for YouTube. It's so bad. What? That's scary. How do you mean? Like bogus brands or something? I don't like the sound of that. Gosh, I just want one. Geek Squad, like, let's go. Come on. Come on, Geek Squad. Come on. Let's go. Okay. Let's try Geek Squad. And if not, maybe we'll just do a Q&A or something. What? That's so weird, Alyssa. Favorite movie? I've many. Amelie is one of my favorite movies. I like a serious, cute one. I also love Dumb and Dumber. One of my favorites. Everyone says Shawshank Redemption. Like, I mean, obviously that's one of the best movies ever made, but 
basic answer. But I do. Uh, your call headed Yes, please help me and call me back. <laughs> Very vague. But maybe they will. Maybe they will. Maybe they will. Someone said, oh, I'm getting this whole music scene. Ooh. Oh, no. These are so old. Why even have these? Ugh. Excuse me again. Also, if you don't like burps or laughing, get off my page. <laughs> Please help me and call me back. Beetle Jesse, hello. The grandma voice is so on point. It says, Chato. Barbecue Doritos, what? I don't even think I've seen those. For those of you who just got here, check out my shirt. Go get one too. They have all different colors. Towels. Slides. Lexi, did you wish for the slides? And stuff for your birthday. Whoop. No one saw that. <laughs> Flying ship. Amazon Women's Voice. Alexa. Or Google. Google is always like, if I'm answering. She's like, if I'm answering, then you have a connection. Let me see how she sounds. Hey, Google, are you connected to Wi-Fi? If I'm answering, then I have an internet connection and I'm ready to help. If I'm answering, then I have an internet connection and I'm ready to help. She kind of sounds like sarcastic. So I says, what's her shirt, Sam? It says, South Scammer Island. Scammer Island. It's an inside joke from some of my past pranks where many scammers will pose as a travel agency or a fake airline and charge you for flights that do exist but you will not actually book. They just steal your credit card information and charge you. And so every time I call those places, I waste their time and I try to book a trip to South Scammer Island, which is if you spell it out with just the S abbreviated, it spells out Scammer Island. So it's just kind of an inside joke with all the uh, OG subscribers. And yeah, I pinned the link up here in the chat, whatever that is for you. So if anyone wants one, there's many different colors, many different uh, items. And then there's also a black crew neck. There's many colors for the crew neck. This one actually, Loki, kind of like it better. But it's too, it's too hot out to wear this one. So what if my arms really were, were like that? Like those things outside of the washer, the car wash places, like 50% off. You too can get this look. <laughs> Mercenary says that I must be an OG subscriber. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Why do people dislike the flavor? Those flavors are the best. Oh, I know. I still don't understand the t-shirt puppy stuff. I don't um, understand what you're talking about either. So, uh, same. You really want a scam call number? Yes, I do. But none of them are answering. It's also kind of late. Usually after four, I don't get too many bites. And I end up just hanging out with you guys, which is fine with me. Because I love you. And I miss you. And I like to be around you. Yeah. Also, y'all, I feel very hungry. I feel like I say that every time. Like, I'm ready to go out to eat. I'm ready to go eat dinner. But it's only 4.30. Hey, Richard, nine six eight four. Let's not put any numbers in the chat, though. Chat two, I've collabed with um, Trilogy Media, Onage Pranks, Oga. Yeah. I'm going to try to make it to um, the People's Call Center this summer, hopefully. Victor says, what's your funniest prank? That is all up to the viewer. But for me personally, um, I do have like the Britney Spears ones or 
the Taco Bell incident of 1999 where I'm the old lady talking about robbing a Taco Bell. That one is just bonkers. Like, I don't even know what I'm talking about in that. I just was going off the rails and making up a story. And uh, that made me laugh really, really hard. Mm, I am not 42 years old, but I know many people who are, and they're lovely people. We love 42 years old. 42 is hot. 42 is the hottest you could be, in my opinion, until you're 43, 44, 45, just getting hotter. I think that age is amazing. I think that aging is cool and sexy and fun and, quite frankly, for the most part, unavoidable. So might as well embrace it. Am I right or am I right? <laughs> we look about 24. That's cool. We love 24. Shauna. That was funny. W dot. <laughs> Just hurry up and transfer me so I can bug somebody. After this, we're going to stop calling and just do Q&A in the chat. Hey, Julia. What up? Hey, Tom. I'm just to I guess had the most nutritious day. I don't say that. Sixty cultures have tell us more about your t-shirt. It says Scammer Island, short for South Scammer Island, which is a made-up place that we all kind of made up together in the chat and in live stream and in many other videos and live streams booking fake trips to the scammers that pretend to be travel agencies or fake airlines. So many times, I bet you can just type in like IRL Rosie fake airline and it'll show up. So Marilyn said, have you had the blue Doritos Rosie? I have not. I've had the blue bag, which is cool ranch. Luke, happy almost birthday. Hi, Musk. Uh-oh, we gotta run away. Thank you, y'all. I really, that's what I was going for. Truly, I'm also in like a synth pop music project called Moderns. So I'm like, I love that whole vaporwave look. Um, it was tempting. I was tempted to kind of go like full of that, but I was stuck with the 80s, 90s look. And um, this is pinned at the top of the chat. If you want to get one, just click on the merch tab of the link tree. Uh, Jimmy said, I'm an old man. We love an old man. Thank you, Mr. Positive Live. Anyways, um, good night, Minna. Please make me go to sleep. Yeah, to bed. It's 2, 3, 4 in the morning. That is very late or very early, depending on what kind of lifestyle you have. Luke Davis. Hello. Hello to John Deere Simulations. There's a mosquito loose in my apartment, by the way, and he won't stop biting me. Tu es mon YouTuber préféré. You're my favorite YouTuber. Mm, merci beaucoup, Speed. <laughs> Love it. Mr. Positive Live, go for it. I did this on, I used like a bunch of apps to do it and just selected things from all over the place and put it all together. Melody says, I'm 23 two days ago. I still feel 15. Lol. Same. I still feel 15. I mean, I'm prank calling people and eating chips. So I haven't. Uh, some things never change and that's fine. Daryl Fawcett, are you allergic to chocolate? Thank God I am not. Mr. Positive, I do videos on scams, but no scam banning. Well, Brian said, do you do any ASMR? Sometimes I do, yes. There are some videos, especially on my Instagram, where I do whispering or tapping. I'm considering starting my own ASMR channel. So if enough people want me to... Maybe I will. What if I burped really loud until I like burp right at the end? <gasps> Would you ever do a joint video with Kit Boga? Ken, I have. You can type IRL Rosie and Kit Boga into the YouTube search, search, into the YouTube search, and a couple videos will pop up. We prank called, it was a couple years ago. It was me, Kit, and Trilogy Media. And there's a couple videos where we messed with um, like a Tinder 
support scam. It was pretty funny. And I've also collabed with Ownage Pranks, who I – actually, I haven't talked to him in a long time. Let's text him. Let's see what he's up to. Does he even have my new number? Let's see. Let's text him. Oh, yeah, I have him. Before he did a identity reveal, he was so locked down on his – like keeping him a secret and like no photos. Oh, and so I still have him in my phone as like a secret code name under Owen Edge, like Owen Edge pranks. Owen Edge is his name in my phone. So if I ever drop my phone in public or lose it, you guys can prank call him. But um, yeah, I'm going to text him because it's, I haven't heard from him we haven't talked in so long for not any like bad reason. We just lost touch. Let's text him right now. Yo, sup, dog? It's been forever. We always talk so like broy to each other. Let's see if he types back. Because so I think I think he's he spent some time in LA. So if he's here, we should collab. Hi, Tori. What up? We do a prank call bit as Julie Garland. Oh, I wish. I wish I could do that voice. Yeah, Onage is so funny. Guys, I keep getting bit by this mosquito. It's making me upset. All right, um, more Q&A if anyone wants to. Duh. Excuse me. Type some questions. <gasps> Mask! Yay! Thank you for being a member. Now you can... Join the members only Discord. Let's see if anyone's typed in there. I feel like kind of lonely. No one talks to me. I'm going to do another voice note. Because there's like a little, um, there's like, a, it's kind of like a group chat. I don't really know what I'm doing on Discord, but I do my best. So I can push this and then leave like a recording. I've done it before. How do I do it? Plus sign. Maybe I can send a selfie. Camera. Allow. All right, I'm going to send a selfie to the Discord. Oh, that's blurry. That's so bad. Elton, thank you. Oh, the next, next collab video with... When will be the next collab video with the brother? Are you talking about Trilogy Media? Because they're like brothers to me. Hopefully soon. Love them. Love them, love them, love them. Kimberly says, you're so funny. I love what you do, those scumbag scammers. Me too. Thank you, Kimberly. Okay, hold on. I'm going to take a video. All right. Oh, my house is messy. Okay, we're going to do this like this way. So blurry. What's wrong with me? Okay, one more time. And I'm going to send it. Oh, gross. Whatever. Fine. Whatever. And I'm going to type happy Friday. Yay. I look terrible, but it's fine. Who cares? Who cares? Rosie Rocks. Thank you, Mr. Coop. Good night, Shauna. I mean, Nadia. Sorry, Shauna was saying good night to Nadia. Um, it said, I wish I was in that selfie. You kind of are in the moment um, in time. Um, off to bed now. I also like the stream. Check out Rosie's merch. Yay, thank you. Do another Britney Spears video, please. Gosh, can we talk about Britney? I don't know what to think because I saw – so there was that video of Brittany eating at a restaurant called Joey in Woodland Hills, and there was a little bit of controversy. It must have been two or three months ago where she was, like, kind of acting strange, and her and Sam got into a fight, and she was kind of sitting there by herself, and there was footage of her sitting in the restaurant, and it's clearly her, and the servers who worked there all were like, yeah, it was Brittany. And then, so that was real and looked real. But ever since then, no one's really seen her out. And then that weird, if you just type Britney conspiracy into anything like TikTok or whatever. And I think Barstool Sports posted a reel explaining that someone else broke down her video of her dancing. And when she goes like this, like she's doing like a dance move like this. And when she raises her hands up over her head, you can see a glitch in which looks like in what looks like a filter and that turns off like really quickly where, you know, when you're doing like a Instagram filter and you move, it kind of like 
comes off, the filter will disengage a little bit. Kind of happens in that video. And they slow it down. And she goes like this or like this. And the eyes are blue. It looks like a different face for a split second. Number one, who has the time to go through these and notice that? But a lot of people are saying that it's not Britney Spears in all her videos on Instagram and TikTok and that it's a body double with, and they're using like deep fakes, which is wild. But I don't blame people for thinking that because where is Britney? And she hasn't done a single live stream to be like, it's me, like, it's me, mm, stop making stuff up about me. Only Sam has gotten on Instagram stories and been like, leave my life alone. I'm like, you were kind of complicit when she was in her conservatorship and started dating her during that time. So I don't want to hear it. I don't know Sam. I don't know the truth, but I don't trust him. I just don't. So a lot of people think that she's passed away and that people are just doing deep fakes to keep making money. But I'm like, if that were true, then why are you using AI to like release more songs? Like, how is that going to do anything? How are you going to make money doing that? So I don't see the point of like keeping her Instagram going. Ooh, big, big money grab. She doesn't even do sponsored posts. So I think that it is Britney in her posts on Instagram and TikTok. I think that people just aren't ready to like settle with that or whatever the word is. I think that people are in denial because they miss the old Britney when she was a little bit more how she used to be. So I don't know. Those are my thoughts on it. But it is sus. And I do kind of have moments of like, especially after that video came out of like the face changing. I was like, okay, this is too much. And I screen recorded the same video and slowed it down on my own to check. And I'm not going to lie, you can definitely tell that there's like something off, but it's not, it wasn't as intense as the other screen recordings that other people posted. So don't believe everything you see, but for both opinions. So I don't know. I don't know. I hope she's okay. I hope that she's taking care of herself. I hope that she's well taken care of. I do think that she needs support in general, but I think with people that she can trust which I don't think has been the case for a long, long time, if ever. Thank you, JT. Cute super sticker with a little music notes. That kind of like, those are kind of like Britney's Instagram dances. But yeah, the chat AI stuff and the singing AI thing is creepy because people have been putting her voice to, um, they did like Cry Me a River by Justin Timberlake. And then they did Genie in a Bottle using AI technology to make her sing it. And it's really close. It's creepy. So a lot of people were saying that the most recent song she came out with, with Elton John, the tiny dancer song or whatever it was, they're like, that's AI. That's not her. Because you can barely hear her. It's a very like lazily done song. It's fine. Where I'm a Britney stan. I like the song. It's fine. But I do, I wouldn't be surprised if it weren't her singing. So... I mean, it could be me singing the song. Who knows? Just kidding. I wish. My biggest, weirdest daydream was always like, Brittany can't come in. Like, she needs a, a singing double. Like, come in and, and sing it, and we'll pay you all this money to be quiet and pretend that you're her. <laughs> That's my biggest stupid dream. Who's Daryl? Do we need to just, like, I'm just going to time them out. Or should we just block him? I don't think he's sent any money. If you're going to waste my time and be a creep, at least send me money. Don't be a loser for free. <laughs> Anyways, Pink Cupcake says her sister, Jamie Lynn, is even worse. Yeah, their relationship is strange. I don't know. Who to, I just don't know who to trust because, I don't know. I haven't seen any, like, ever since she got out of the conservatorship, I haven't seen any like super positive changes or her acting any differently lifestyle wise, work wise, just vibe wise. And it seems like she just never leaves the house unless it's a, on a hike with Sam. So I don't know. Sean Jackson said, is Brittany still doing shows in Vegas? No, I think she stopped her residency in 
2017, I want to say. I did get to see her, um, I think in 2016 at Planet Hollywood. It was amazing. I loved it. And I love doing those Vegas shows, the residency shows, because there's never an opener. It's just the show that you want. And it just cuts right to the chase. She never posts on Instagram either. And when she does, she turns off the comments now, which makes me so sad because I think it brought us all together, you know? Oh, so I've timed out like five times. Okay, well, when he gets back, he can either super chat or I'm banning him completely <laughs> off of this, off of my channel because people are just weird. Hi, Awaken Saint. What's up? I heard Brittany's going to be Brad now. I don't know what that means. How's your band doing? Love your guitar and singing solo too. Thank you, Ron. The band is going well. The band I'm in is called Moderns, and we're playing a show on Monday at 9.30 at Hotel Ziggy on Sunset Boulevard if anyone is local to Los Angeles. Mr. Creep. Yeah, I might have to. Uh, I mean, definitely have people have acted creepier in here, but Eric Drury says, where's Super Chat? I think it's below where you type. There should be a little button. You don't need to, but always appreciated. Please do more with Amy. I know. We're overdue for a little duet again. That's so fun. I always love, love working with her and collabing with her. She's so talented and she's so sweet. The best. She's so talented. I get so intimidated by her guitar skills. It just makes me nervous. And she is always like, you make me nervous when you're watching my live streams. And I'm like, why? We're both just like so nice. Like there's nothing to worry about. But she's just so talented and intimidates me. But not in a way where she's like bitching or rude about it. She just is that talented. But yeah, there's 200 people in here. I've, everyone say hello. Type hi. Have you seen Miley Cyrus in Los Angeles? I have seen her in restaurants, but I've never seen her perform. But yes, I've seen her out. Favorite Tim and Eric skit? Probably um, the one in the bathroom where the guy's like, I'm not clean. Who who's gonna clean all the water up? <laughs> that one. Where it's just like a really like weird bathroom. I like that one. And I like any of the um Steve Brewell, Dr. Steve Brewell. And I like the KC Tatum hot dogs and hamburgers. Uh basically anything Tim and Eric. I love. Do you watch The Office? Yes. Both. The British Office and The American. Um, Brandon said, yo, yo, for your health. <laughs> Hi, Brian Harris. I'm not clean. <laughs> I'm not clean. How is life in Los Angeles? I heard there were a lot of forest fires there recently. Not that I've heard of in particular, but there's always fires here. It's always pretty gnarly, so. Hey, sir. Spoy, thank you so much. Melody, Melody, whoa. Your business, why do they take it out and bother clicking on the video? A comment regarding your life, and I'm so glad you're literally just being your true self. Why do people feel your opinions on your person? Um, what this all sounds like you're being very sweet, um, Melody, but I uh, don't know what you're referencing. <laughs> but you sound very sweet, thank you for the support. Benny Cook says hello, Steel Beach here. Hi, Eric. Yeah, Ricky Gervais is brilliant. C'est brilliant. It's brilliant. It's the time of year where it's going to get dry. Yes. I saw someone flick their cigarette out the window today on the interstate, and I got really mad because that's how forest fires start is people being reckless and irresponsible and rude and selfish. Jorge, oh. Hi, Rosie. Please do a comment invitation. If you do it well, I'll tip you again. I don't have that down at all. But here's my best impression of her. Get it? Because where is she and what has she done? I mean, listen, I don't want to get into politics, but girl, where are you? What is happening? Say something. Do something about anything. So my Im impression invitation is just, um, <laughs> Hi, Karina. How are you? Um. Oh gosh, Daryl's back. Oh no, Daryl, super chat me, or I'm kicking you out. <laughs> Thank you, Elton. Appreciate you. Good day from Australia. Hello, you make me laugh. Love ya. Thank you so much, Leaking Jaw. <laughs> Did you cut your hair? Nope. 
I mean, I did in January and it was like very short, but I already grew back. So that's that. He's <laughs> I'm out again. Well, he can stay for a little bit if he's super chats. <laughs> Otherwise, bye. Anastasia or Anastasia says, how long have you been doing this? Mm, four, four-ish years, five, five-ish years. I've been pranking scammers. Have you an Irish accent? I don't. I haven't tried that. I've been really bad at it. Brian Harris says, what is your favorite voice? Question mark, question mark, question mark. I would have to say Siri. Hi, just some humanoid. Mama Bear said, how's your kitty doing? <coughs> Quiet and napping. I wish that she would do that when I was sleeping at night. Anyone else's cat wake up at 4 a.m. and just... <coughs> Thank you, sisters. It's a little... I need... It's a little dead on the ends. I could... I could do without this. I could do without this. Imagine if it were like that. That would be great. Then you could read my Scammer Island t-shirt, which everyone can get. We can be matchies, twinsies. Mr. Positive says, do you do voiceover work for radio or TV? Yes, I do. I do a little bit um, of both. If you go to my website and click on voiceover or reels, it has a bunch of reels and examples of my past work. I've done um, voiceovers for video games and commercials. Can you do a Google Voice? Yes, Tom, I can. If I'm answering, then I have a connection and I'm ready to help you. <laughs> are there men's tees? Yes, these are all like unisex. So they range from extra, extra small to 5XL, I believe. So lots of different colors. And they also have, um, there's like hoodies and crew necks, which I can't wait for it to be chilly enough to wear. And it's very soft. You know, when you get a sweatshirt and you're like, oh, I paid all that money and it's like scratchy. This is so Breaking Bad or Game of Thrones. Breaking Bad. It's so soft. Like, it feels like Junie. It feels like Junie's ear fur, you know, like the little kitten fur behind their ear. It's so soft. Anyways. Get you some. Get you some. I'll, I'll do it a little closer. See, sorry, it's backwards. But in the sand, I wrote, IRL Rosie was here. <laughs> so it looks like I really went. But they have all different colors. Black, pink, blue, all of it. Except I did not do, I think, a dark, dark pink because it bled into this. The stripe and the whatever. Um... There actually are Junie sweatshirts and Junie socks and Scammer Island socks and all kinds of things. If you go to the link that is pinned in the comments, that's where to do it. Do you stream on Meet Me? No, people have been like asking me or telling me to do that, but I it seemed a little like sus when I looked at it. It seems like not my vibe. Um, so I just stream on here and sometimes TikTok. I used to do Twitch once in a while to like do gaming streaming, but other than that, do you speak Ukrainian? I do not, but if you want to write some words in the chat, I'll do my best. Um, what else was I going to say? Yeah, that's about it. Hey, Jay, we were trying, but nobody, we got no bites. It's Fridays are hard. I think the weekend starts and then anytime after four is kind of tricky too, just because it's late and all those things. Cowboy John, where you been? Um, thank you to my mods. And then also anyone who's a member of the channel, click on the link of the thing that I just posted so you can join the members only Discord, which is kind of like a group chat where we can all hang out. We can do like voice memos to each other. Oh, excuse me. Um, hello to Jay, to hey y'all. Scammers weekend, yeah. There was a Papa John's commercial the other night, and my Alexa device overheard it at the end, and commercial said, if you need to activate credit card in your account, do you want to add one? Hmm. Now you always see like everybody watching me. The, co the computer burp? Fake burp? Maybe not. No, that was, that was real. Plants tonight. I'm uh, probably just going to go to dinner and, yeah, hang out. It's my friend's birthday tomorrow, so can't get too crazy. I don't want to be hungover. Can you do Paris Hilton, please? Yeah, that's hot. 
Time for a new burp emoji. I know. Do they have a burp emoji? I wish they did. Anyways, y'all, I might pop off here just because not a lot is going on, but I did enjoy hanging out with you. Maybe at least every Friday for at least an hour, I'll pop on here and just hang out with you guys. So around like four-ish again. I might start earlier with a scam calling, but then like stay on and hang out for a while just because I miss you guys. Is Paris Hilton's voice her real voice? Paris Hilton talks like this and like really blah, blah. But her real voice when she speaks is actually really deep and low and beautiful. She just plays it up and does the baby voice a little bit. <laughs> That's hot. Can you do Jennifer Coolidge? Sometimes I need to like warm up. Like sometimes I can, but like it takes a while. Maybe after another glass of wine or something. Do you snowboard or ski? I have tried snowboarding once, um, but it's not go too well because I was younger. I didn't have the right gear. And then my board got locked in the thing and some like weird freak thing happened where they had to saw it out because they couldn't get it out of the lock thing. Um, and then the other person I was with injured themselves. So we had to leave. So I have attempted it. <laughs> I would try it again, but it's kind of a, um, it's kind of an expensive thing to just try out because you got to have the gear, you got to have the board, you got to have the lift ticket, you got to go, you sometimes have to get lodging if you don't live there and then that and then, you know, it's just um, seems like a $500 maybe, which I'd rather spend $500 on like sushi or king crab. <laughs> Most famous person you're friends with? Trilogy Media. Don't know if you've heard of them. Thank you, Ashley. If you want one, the link is pinned in the chat. There's different, uh, you can get socks, slides, towels. There's also crew necks. So cute. Really soft. Again, I said it's as soft as the back of Juniper's little kitten fur on her ear. It's so soft. Can't wait for it to get chilly so that I can put it on. We tried RoboKiller for iOS. I heard that it blocks a lot of RoboCalls. Is that true or is that a scam? John Deere, funny question. I have partnered and worked with RoboKiller in the past, and RoboKiller is an app that answers the call for you using answer bots, so pre recorded prompts and conversations. And I have, I think, maybe 20 answer bots available on RoboKiller. And because uh, I've worked with them for voiceover and also partnered with them as sponsors on my channel. So yes, RoboKiller is legit. It works very well. It's awesome. It detects if it's a scam call, spam call before the phone even rings on your end. And it blocks it from even like disrupting your day or phone call. And it records the conversation that the answer bot has with the scammer or telemarketer so that you can listen to it and laugh at it later. Uh, gosh, I need to partner with them again. They're so fun. RoboKiller is awesome. And I think on the website, you can also, they list a lot of numbers that are confirmed as scams. So if you're ever unsure, I think that you can type it into their website and it will pop up how, how many people voted that it was like a, a crappy number or a scam or whatever. Most famous person you've ever met, says Michael Dunlap, Paul McCartney. I bartended at a very expensive restaurant in Los Angeles and many celebrities would come in. And I met Paul McCartney and made him a margarita. Uh, it was crazy. Actually, I met a lot of celebrities working there. It was very cool. Um, who else? That's, the, again, the same. Uh, Evans Rockland, 500 and okay. I don't know that currency, but I love 500 of anything. So thank you so much. A small thanks for your amazing work against companies targeting people not growing up with the internet. Yes, I like to call scammers and spammers and waste their time. Said that. They don't have time to call people who don't know better or might fall for something or might be in a position where they believe a scam or something that is not legit. So I love it. It all started when my mom got scammed a few years ago and I've just kind of been doing this for vengeance and yeah, fighting the good fight. So thank you so much for your generosity. I have no idea what currency that is, but again, 500 of anything is great besides 500 scammers or scam calls or fraudsters. <laughs> The stinking rose. Oh, yeah, I've been there, too. I don't know if it's still open. I think maybe – I know it was temporarily closed, at least around COVID times. But uh, I like that place. I love – it's a garlic-themed restaurant. And on your birthday, they put a garlic hat on you, and you get garlic ice cream, which sounds 
Garlic ice cream sounds like it would be disgusting, but I'm not gonna lie. I was pleasantly surprised. This actually looks cute rolled up, huh? I think I might, oh, that looks really cute rolled up. Why didn't I do that as soon as I got on here? Oh, Norwegian, oh, great. That's cool, thanks for doing the, uh, what's the word? Brain fart, currency, whatever. Why can't I think of the word? Not exchange, whatever, you know what I mean? Um, just some human. I've received so many scam messages about Netflix and I don't even have it. Wild. Whatever you do, just don't click on anything. Michael says, how long have you lived in LA? Since 2009. So conversion. Thank you, David Ryder. <laughs> wow. It's you that makes you cute. Oh, thanks. You could be cute in one of these two. If you want to buy one, we could be twinsies. Oh my gosh. Rolling up sleeves from now on on baggy t-shirts. That's so cute. I designed it myself, you guys. I'm so proud of it. I love it. I kind of want to get the uh, blue one too. There's like a kind of a turquoise blue one to sort of go with all the neon. Is that a beach photo or painting behind you? This, actually, I painted that. The funny thing is I began painting it based on a photo that was actually the sky with a big heavy rain clouds. And then they're supposed to be like, the skyline of Seattle. And then as, as I was painting it, I realized it looked more like the sea. And I was like, I think I'm done. Like, I don't want to turn it into anything else. So I kept it that way, even though it's supposed to be the sky for a cityscape, but it ended up looking like the ocean on a cloudy day. And so I just, I stopped painting it and just left it that way. And I really prefer it. I know it seems kind of like narcissistic to hang your own paintings, but I don't know. I liked it. And I think it's symbolic to just, um, I don't know, kind of go with the flow. And sometimes things are not as they seem or you begin a journey and it goes somewhere else, but it ends up being something completely different and it's still beautiful. Just a lot of uh, meaning in that. So thank you for asking. Daryl says, I paint also. Cool. Have you ever done stand-up comedy? No. It's definitely a goal of mine, but I'm very scared. It makes me nervous, but it's on my bucket list for sure. Are you from California? Nope. I grew up in Chicago and Virginia, but I moved here from Seattle. Problem is that scammers are getting wise to all of this. Yes, they are. They are learning new things every day. Eric says, kind of like when I cook. <laughs> exactly. Thank you, Ron. Very cool. It does. Yeah, it kind of looks like the ocean with like waves and like a thunderstorm and storm clouds coming in. So you're welcome, Corpus. You have a good weekend as well. I know. I heard that the scammers are using AI of our voices to make calls to family members pretending to be in trouble and asking for money. So just be really careful where you record your voice. It's too late for me because my voice is all over the internet. So that sucks. But uh, yeah, it makes me nervous. Deep fakes, AI. I feel like it's too much. Like it's scaring me. Like it's too futuristic. It's too, it's just too much. I can't do it. Are you serious? Are you serious about the ASMR channel? Maybe I will start one right after this live stream. I'll just create one and just sort of make some shorts and different tapping videos. If you like, why not? Yes, it is. How much is Robo Killer? I don't remember, but it's worth it if you don't want to get those calls. And um, also, again, just going to bring up my sponsor, which is Aura. And if you click on the pinned link, there's um, it's a link tree. Aura is one of my sponsors, and they are amazing. They are an app that you can use across all devices, so computer, phone. And if you have parents in like the boomer age, or maybe you're a boomer and not the best computers and all that stuff, it's really important to protect yourself and take preventative measures against scammers or fraudsters or people stealing your identity or trying to, you know, hack into your accounts, all sorts of stuff, suspicious activity, data breaches. There's also a password manager, so you can just keep all your passwords stored and safe. And there's also a VPN so you can surf the web with um, more security. So 
uh, yeah, if they have a really good VPN and they have a family plan for up to five people, I think, which is awesome. They have like a couple's uh, membership as well. I think it starts at like seven bucks a month. But if you click on the link up here, I have a link for 14 days free. So two weeks free trial. So you can use a VPN and it will, after you enter your information, it will scan everything for you to make sure that your info is not on the dark web. True story. One of my friends who signed up found out that her info was on the dark web and she has a stalker. So it really helped her to find out where her information was, who was doing what, where to pull her information from. There's also those websites, those data broker websites that sell your information to your information to advertisers. And that's why we get so many robocalls and junk mail and spam. And also those websites provide information like your address, where you work, the car you drive, your phone number. I've had my information compromised before and it resulted in people stalking me and reaching out to me in ways that I wish they would not have. And they got that information off of websites that list your information. So what Aura does is it automatically pulls your information off of those, opts you out of those websites so that people can't track you down, whether they're creepy or scammers or just annoying telemarketers, all that stuff. So if you care about your privacy and safety at all, I encourage you to definitely check out my sponsor, Aura. So if you want 14 days free, no catch, there's no weirdness. It's not a pyramid scheme. It's just a great company that reached out to me because I talk a lot about internet safety and keeping your information safe and all that stuff. So yeah, use the link that's pinned there, or you can use my code IRL Rosie. Tell your friends, tell your family. Um, it's just, it's great to gift it to a family member too. Who's like, my mom's not great with computers. So I signed her up on, we have like the family plan to where I don't have to worry about her information getting compromised ever again. Uh, because of Aura. So shout out to my sponsor. Thank you so much. Um, Calvra, Calvra, uh, we tried calling people earlier and they didn't answer. So I just did a Q and a cowboy says, do you see you're on discord? If you are, I would love to join your server cowboy. Yes. Uh, I have a members discord. So if you're a member of my YouTube channel and you can click on the community tab where all the members can see, um, the membership's like five bucks a month. Uh, for I don't have tiers, I just have one flat price. And so anyone who's a member gets to be in the Discord. I just sent a selfie to the Discord chat. It still says it's sending, but and then um I can leave little recordings of my voice. I don't is this how I do it? What I'm such I'm so bad at this. The other day I was able to record my voice and I have. So I'll definitely do it again, but we can all talk to each other. It's kind of like being in like a cute little group chat with everyone. So yeah, CBB says a good VPN. Yes, Aura has a great VPN. You can use it across, I think, five devices. So phone, computer, iPad, all the things. I can't see anything on the Discord. Chris S, really? Are you, this still says it's connecting. Um, I wait, I think I waved at you when you joined. Let's see. Well, I'll repost the link. For some reason, it's kind of glitchy. Like, it's still sending the photo that I took 20 minutes ago. Strange. Well, we'll figure it out. Anyway, i got to get off here and get ready for dinner. I mean, as much as I love this shirt, I'm probably going to change. But if you guys want one of these, use the link in the chat. And, um, yeah, I'll catch you next time. We'll hang out again next Friday if I'm free. And I'll try to pop on live more often, whether we scam people or not. Reverse scam people. I'm not on your scam people. Prank call the scammers. But um, thanks for hanging out. I love you guys very much. And consider becoming a member, signing up for Aura, my sponsor, or hanging out in the Discord with the members only chat and all those things. All right. I love you so much. Um, I can't see anything either on the Discord. So I was just me not knowing what I'm doing. Carolyn, I'll figure it out. I also am just like so bad and dumb on Discord, but we'll figure it out. Okay, guys, I love you so much. One, 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 XOXO. Junie, I can't believe you're such a stranger. <laughs> All right.